We are running out of time. How are we doing? There were two teams on, on the program. And the first team that came in, Chris Baker's team, and there was a separate designer there too, had decided to make uh, Star Cops very bright, very clean, uh, uh, very modern in that way, which worked up to a point, except that I think that showed up the fact that we were in the studio. It wasn't quite dirty enough. The machinery was a little too polished still, you know, and I thought that people's living conditions and their uniforms and the like just looked a little freshly <laughs> pressed. Then when Graham Harper came in with a separate, a different designer to do the, the next three, four, five, and six, he got the lighting levels in the studio down to the lowest that they'd ever been. He actually was quite proud of the fact he'd broken a record. The lighting levels in the studio are the lowest they've ever been for any drama. So that nothing was lit. The only lights you would get were the lights from things like computer screens. That things were grubby. That rather than us having a pristine office, he got us putting in little artifacts so we had little souvenirs. And then we went back to the first team on episode seven, it would have been, I guess. And we found out all the stuff had been chucked out. And we were back to the clean lines. And we said, actually, now we have a continuity problem. Because you won't believe that we suddenly kicked it all out. They had to go out and find all this stuff, which was all in dustbins.